Yeah, they're being rather tight-lipped about this, Marcia. The Department of National Defense only sending us a statement confirming that they did intercept something uh, and that they did find it and not really saying what more they are going to do about it or with these objects. I'll point you to this uh, statement that we did receive from them earlier this morning specifically about it, saying the Department of National Defense and Canadian Armed Forces are fully aware of recent efforts by China to conduct surveillance operations in Canadian airspace and maritime approaches utilizing dual-purpose technologies. Go on to say that under Operation Limpid, the Canadian Armed Forces monitors Canada's air, land and sea approaches. And since 2022, we have stopped attempts to surveil Canadian territory. Now, Operation Limpid is conducted uh, partially in the Arctic area, and that is uh, simply to continue to monitor um, the, as it says in that uh, statement there, the airspace and maritime uh, areas and this is something that obviously is under keen focus when you consider that NORAD over the last couple of weeks has uh, watched and even shot down a number of airborne devices a couple of them that we had heard um, that it happened uh, you know in Canadian airspace the one in Yukon where the RCMP have called off their uh, search for it but the one that was tracked over Canada and then into the United States and then shot down over the Carolinas that uh, is believed to be a Chinese spy balloon uh, and it really sort of puts into focus what is going on and really um, whether or not that foreign actors are trying to um, you know surveil Canada in different ways and possibly even interfere in some of our operations as well and possibly our elections tell us more yeah, that's something that this House of Commons Procedure Committee continues to look into. And yesterday, um, they voted unanimously on an amendment to uh, invite more Canadian uh, intelligence agencies and also more ministers to testify specifically on these allegations of Chinese interference into our elections in 2019 and 2021. This is something that the Prime Minister addressed last week when asked specifically about it, saying that um, they do know that China has made a couple of attempts to try and interfere, uh, but at the same time, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau tried to reassure Canadians that it was Canadians alone who decided the outcome of the last election. What we do know at this House of Commons Committee is that they did vote to uh, summon a few more ministers, uh, notably Melanie Jolie, the Foreign Affairs Minister, um, the Intergovernmental Affairs Minister, Dominic LeBlanc. We're also expected um, that Marco Mendicino will be called. He's the Public Safety Minister. Then representatives from Elections Canada and national securities agencies, so the RCMP and CSIS, that's Canada's spy agency, uh, to delve more into this because clearly uh, this is something that not only, as we'd seen there, uh, Michael Cooper and some of the Conservatives have seized upon, but certainly a concern of a number of Canadians and uh, members of Parliament and wanting to make sure um, that we are eyes wide open, as a number of agencies have said, when it comes to China and different attempts to try and get into our election system. Marcia. Mike, thank you for that update.